This is the 2017 Cannondale Bad Habit. It's running a 1 by 11 drive train by SRAM with SRAM shifters. It's got a 32 up front and a 10 to 42 rear cassette. Also running SRAM 4 piston hydraulic disc brakes. It has 120 of travel front and rear. The rear is by a Fox and the front fork by RockShox. A Fox transfer dropper post. It's also set up with DMR Vault flat pedals. And it's running standard Schwabble tires which are 27.5 by 3 inch wide. This entire bike comes weighing in right around 30 pounds with its lightweight carbon frame and alloy triangle. First ride on this uh, Cannondale Bad Habit demo bike and I uh, might be buying it. Having just rode this a few days ago, you can already feel the difference. It's less effort to climb. I feel like I'm fighting this bike a lot less than my hardtail. I think with how slow of a climber I am, I may swap out this front 32 for a 28, 28 front chain ring just to help my uh, climbing abilities so I'm not grinding quite as much I'm kind of going slow as I do. These little spots of mud through here are fairly noticeable with these three inch tires. They push through it real nice. A lot better than my uh, standard width 26er or even that Cannondale 29er by two. I think I'm gonna like a plus size bike. I like this mossy section. Real naturey feel to it. It smells like fall in the air. Definitely a lot more cushion to this ride with full suspension. Definitely bless my wife for putting up with my habit. It's awesome to have a spouse who somewhat tolerates your habit, an expensive habit. Definitely feels pretty good. I'm kind of digging the flat pedals, even though I definitely don't have the right shoes. Maybe I'll actually go with flats and try them for a while. Yeah, we're moving a little bit. Definitely think this is a Pretty good deal on this bike. I definitely think I'm going right back to the shop after I'm done riding and buying it. My wife says I'm done buying bikes for a while after this. Little does she know I want a fat bike too. Actually she does know. I don't think that's going to be happening for a little while. This section of trail, it's going a lot better on this bike than it was on my old hardtail. Then one thing about full suspension I forgot about is watching the pedal strikes. That's the bottom bracket. It sits a little lower on these than I'm used to. This is where I suggested we could use a bench cut. My hardtail, I must have fell off my bike several times through here. See there are certain spots on these roots. 
is pretty slick. Definitely a better mechanical advantage climbing this. This is a pretty chick tricky. This is a pretty tricky climb with a lot of camber. Even I'm gonna have to dab once in a while through here. You see, I'm not a crazy fast turbo man like some of these guys out here riding. But I do enjoy it. See, this isn't as well cut up or ridden just yet. I think I've uh, volunteered myself my next trail work day to bench cut. What the hell was I thinking? We're talking about some of these sections of trail that really could use a bench cut because of the camber. This is Eric's little section, he bench cut. <laughs> it took a lot of work just for this little bit. So as I'm riding this level and not fighting, thanks Eric. That would be nice, that gets built up. This thing climbs like a goat. There was just an advantage of riding flat pedals. My foot was crooked, but I could still put power down and pedal. And if I was riding flipless, I would have had to stop there. I wonder if maybe I went further than I should have. I was recommended to bump out on the road. Thinking I should have done that back air. Road's right down there. Find my way to it. Only downside so far is uh, riding on the road. A lot of rolling resistance. Definitely a lot harder of a ride than, uh, say, my road bike is, or even my commuter bike. But it's all right. I'm actually taking the road the whole way up to the top where this water tower is. In the interest of saving time, so I gotta get done. I still wanna ride the old water tower loop, get home cleaned up for uh, heading over to the boys' school. So we'll see you at the top. Let's go down this thing. Yeah, that has me smiling. Full squish.
I had a fun ride on this bike. It handled great. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Full suspension, plus size bike. Very similar to the Scots that I demoed last year, except this one has a great deal and a great price. As you may guess, I ended up taking it home with me. N plus one strikes again. New bike day for me. Do you have this bike? Have you ever rode it? Any opinions on it? Drop them in the comments below. Might be too late though because I already bought it. If you want to see the latest videos coming out from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell notification to ensure you're getting notified the most recent videos coming out from me. That's all I have for today. New bike, ride safe out there. Let's go.